Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather 360 Studios. It is Martin Luther King Jr. holiday today, Monday. Um, if you had the day off, uh, lucky you. Uh, we're going to real quick talk about the frigid cold temperatures we're having here across the, the Upper Plains, Great Lakes, and Northeast. Um, if you think it's cold out there in the Northeast, you're correct. Uh, these are wind chill temperatures here this morning of 20 to some 30, 40 below zero for many locations, making it the coldest Martin Luther King Jr. holiday in over 30 years for the Northeast, coldest in eight for the U.S. overall. Last couple of years, last year was the hottest holiday in um, three years. Uh, 2017 was actually near record hot, number one hot. So very frigid out there to say the least, especially in the Northeast. Uh, looking at the storm system that traversed the country here, this is just the weekend snow totals that uh, went really from west to east. Uh, started in the Rockies, developed in the central U.S. Uh, with a kind of a narrow swath. You were either in it or out of it in the plains. But uh, Chicago got close to uh, around the Chicago area, about eight inches. Then it uh, exploded here in the northeast. Again, took uh, took a little more with the Euro track. Um, but again, uh, a good snow here to say the least, uh, making it, uh, if we look at the trend chart here for the national totals uh, of all this snow, it was the snowiest uh, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday weekend in over 30 years nationally, uh, off the charts. Again, so 385 inches of snow for uh, the major cities we track here across the country. Looking at snow cover again here this morning, is about 50% of us had snow on the ground. Um, it's above average. Normally, it only have about 40% of us with snow on the ground. So again, uh, a lot of snow out there uh, for now. Uh, if we look at the season to date, again, uh, still have this uh, little sucker hole of uh, not as a lot of snow for the southeast PA. Uh, really, that uh, Philly to New York to Boston corridor, we're going to show you here in a minute, those snow totals are pretty epically low uh, in some cases, uh, for sure around Boston. Uh, again, so our, we got some sad snow lovers right now, but uh, again, keep the faith. It's uh, we're only midway through winter. Um, if the other thing, you know, the flu here, uh, I'm not sure which people are more sick about, uh, the lack of snow in the Philly to Boston corridor and south or uh, the flu bug. Only about 30 states with widespread flu outbreak. In fact, we've seen a little bit of moderating of the flu uh, in the southeast and parts of the mid-Atlantic. So maybe the peak is near. Uh, last year, the whole entire country was still in a pretty much a ravaged widespread uh, flu outbreak. So again, not as bad as last year. Um, again, for our sad snow lovers, pretty much a lot of those are here in these. Boston takes the record here, only 1.8 inches of snow. That's the least in a decade, season to date, and a, a top two or three, uh, if you go back even 125 plus years. So very slow start in Boston, not entirely unexpected. Uh, New York City, 5.1 inches, making at least in three years. Um, Green Bay, out in the, the Midwest here, Wisconsin, 15.2 inches, least in seven years. So some of these cities, even Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, we have fans here that are disappointed uh, outside our studio here. But we've had about 11 inches in some areas just around the area here, about 13, 14 inches, which is about average. So again, we're 13 snowiest in 30 years here around the office. Uh, but again, still a lot of sad snow lovers here, even though we're not too far off the average. Um, the little one, uh, you can take two, th we had about four inches uh, where we are here in eastern PA. And uh, the little one uh, will make the best of it. So she made her uh, little snowman and took mommy and her gammy out there for uh, snow uh, sledding. And uh, again, uh, so I had some fun, even though it was only a couple inches, two, three, four inches of snow here locally. Um, the happy snow lovers would actually be Caribou, Maine. It's just off the charts, epic. 97.8 inches of snow, season to date. That's the most in 30 years. Uh, Burlington, Vermont, up in New England, 57.1 inches, most in nine years. Um, a lot of these fringe areas are pretty interesting. We see. Um, uh, Beckley, West Virginia, uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, Roanoke, Virginia was 17 inches, most of nine years. Dulles, Washington, D.C. area has been doing very well, 15.4 uh, inches, most of nine years. Uh, Asheville, down in North Carolina, 11 inches, uh, most in eight years. Uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, we threw them on here. They've had 9.7 inches. They're very sad down there about that because most of that came in November. But, uh, again, that's still above average. So, uh, again, uh, keep the faith, snow lovers. Uh, more to come. We'll animate the uh, six-day snowfall forecast here. So this is uh, today. And then Tuesday, we see another system traversing through the plains and the Great Lakes. Uh, kind of fizzles here in the northeast. And we get another little system here toward Friday. Uh, again, kind of fizzles against the northeast. So some flurries here toward the weekend as we get another cold shot. Again, go through these one more time. Here's Monday, Tuesday, uh, midweek in the Great Lakes. Uh, kind of falls apart. Uh, another reinsurgence of uh, cold air Friday, so some snow uh, again in advance of another Arctic blast here for the weekend. Um, then Saturday again, the East Coast. We'll have to watch the. There's some models. The Euro's actually kind of getting excited about another coastal storm here um, toward the weekend, late weekend, early next week. Still a week out, so we'll see about that. But um, keep the faith, uh, coastal Northeast uh, snow lovers. Um, this week overall, we'd say it's the coldest in five years for the nation as a whole, making it the seventh coldest in 30 years. 
wettest in two years, but the seventh wettest in 30 plus years. Snowiest in three years, and that's the fifth most in 30 years for the U.S. overall. So still plenty of cold and snow out there for the country as a whole. Uh, jumping ahead to next week, we see it's still the coldest in five years nationally. Ninth coldest in 30 years. Um, be probably the wettest in 30 years, snowiest in four years, and that's the eighth most snow in 30 years across the country. Um, some dueling uh, phases and cycles here that we have to be either concerned or excited about, but uh, there's an MGO phase here that would suggest we're going to get a more a little bit Pacific flow, uh, so some of this Arctic air may abate here a bit as we get uh, later in the period here. Um, but there's a big, huge ridge over the pole, which suggests there's massive Arctic air very close by the U.S., so again, uh, and that MJO phase, it looks like as it gets into early February, we'll be back into the cold, snowy, uh, stormy type pattern. So again, uh, we'll have to see a little bit of a waffling of the, the weather pattern here. We go from here locally, we were 34 before the storm, 2 degrees today, and then 42 midweek, and then back to 12 by the weekend. So an up and down pattern here a bit. Looking at the world overall, uh, again, so for the U.S. over the 14-day aggregate, 21 Jan through 3 February, we're going to be the coldest in five years nationally snowiest in three years nationally and what is in nine years so again still a lot of cold here uh, especially in canada so that's the good news as long as the cold is close by um, again we still have the threat for bigger snowstorms for our snow lovers out there europe's still on the slightly cool side um, for the world overall so with that folks uh, have a great week uh, we will be back here this time next week